Welcome back, everybody, to The Road Show. This morning in the buzz brought to you by The Comedy Connection. We are talking about ghosting. Now, if you aren't familiar with the term, ghosting is a common uh, phenomenon in both personal and professional relationships where the other person basically just poof, disappears. Yeah, they usually just stop communication, right. likely, because they're trying not to hurt someone's feelings mm -hmm. and they don't know how to say what they really want to say. Yes. But as the practice becomes more common, experts are saying a better way to go is to learn to say no and you'll actually do less damage in the long run. Yes. But yes. it's so awkward sometimes. Yes. Right? It's right. really saying no, and I don't know why it makes me so uncomfortable, and then the words come out in a very awkward way, and I end up apologizing. Mm -hmm. And why am I apologizing? If you can't make plans, or you can't do something, or you don't want to hang right. out with someone, why is it so difficult for us to say no? I know. I, I go, look, I agree. This happens to me all the time. I, somebody will say, can you do something? And I say, and, and it's just like, it's like, I just, and I answer quick. I'm like, mm. oh, sure. You're right. Sure. And then when it, as it gets closer and closer, I'm like, oh. <laughs> Why did I agree? What to did that? I agree to do? Yeah. You know, ever, ever why am plans, I doing this? Ever make plans at like five o'clock on a Friday? Yes. And like three thirty rolls around, and you're, all you're thinking is, I just want to put my sweatpants on. I just want to stay home. Yeah. Not. So I just want to wipe the makeup off my face and put the sweatpants on. Right. And I'm like, no. Not so what much. Can I, how can I get yeah. out of this? Not so much in the summertime. I, okay, I, yeah. I don't feel, feel this way in the no. summertime, but in the wintertime yeah, when, you, when you're home roads. and it's cold out and it's icy <laughs> and the sun is down at like 2.30 in the afternoon yeah. when you leave here and you just want to go home. Right. You know, the fireplace is going and oh, I can just that's... make some like junk food. You are painting a lovely picture. It's, it's like, this is yeah. life. Yeah, this I is what it. we live for. Can I do that's, that? that's when I'm like, oh, what did I say <clears throat> yes to? I also think it has become harder to ghost someone. Yes. Like in the past, right, you had more excuses, less technology. Oh, I didn't get to my machine. I didn't get home and right. check my message or whatever. Whereas now, um, my phone's right here. I've called, texted, I left you a message on your Instagram right. and blah, 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 yeah. blah. So you know right. that that person has received yes, the message. some sort of message right. and, and they're ignoring you. Right. And then you see pictures of them out. Well, yeah. Out with so-and-so. You know hard. who they're out with. It's hard, I, but, I, but I think it stems from, I mean, granted, there are some nasty people out there who sure. just ghost because they've got a hidden agenda. Right. But I think then there are people like me where you're like, oh, can I have your number? And you say, yeah, sure. But even in the moment of giving someone your number, you're thinking, I don't really feel a connection here anyway. So right. then yeah. they try and contact you and yeah. you're like, how do I get yeah. out of this? I know, I know, <laughs> I know when I was single, if somebody asked me for my number, I'm giving them my number. Okay. I'm giving them that look. All right. Beggars can't be choosers. <laughs> okay. Just tell me. Uh, Please take it. Yes. Take my <laughs> yes, it's right here. Here it is. I'll give you all seven of them. First of all, Mr. Gilbert, you really do paint a lovely photo. Michaela, let's call him Norman Rockwell. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. Came up with yep. that over here. Nice, Thank you. you. Uh, but it's so easy, like you said, to just uh, not respond to somebody. If you don't want to do it, you think, oh, I can just go off the grid. But at the same time, like you said, Michaela, that we kind of are connected <laughs> to everybody at all times. So they might know, oh, he went there instead of doing mm -hmm. this. He couldn't Aha. be with me or vice versa. It's just tough to say no, especially when you want to be nice and kind. Yeah. Mm -hmm. this or is, the function when you can see that someone read your message it's and they didn't delivered. respond. Don't even get me started. Let's check in with our viewers to see what you guys had to say about this topic right here this morning. Jennifer's up first. She says, I feel worse when I say yes than cancel. Nobody would say, let's not get together. <laughs> Actually, I think that's fantastic. Hey, why are you texting? Want to not get together this weekend? I'd love that. Dennis says, I recall in my younger days when some annoying person would ask for my phone number, I would casually give them numbers of funeral homes, plumbing companies, etc. pre-sell days. Oh, and you would laugh and laugh and laugh, Dennis, I bet. Jackie shares, ghosting is my number one pet peeve. I once went out with someone who stopped bothering me after the first few dates, then said I would rather meet people in person than on dating apps, as technology sometimes can take the fun out of dating, but he got a date with you. I don't know. <laughs> you don't have time to investigate that one. And lastly, Jeannie says, I dated a man who flirted with every female he met. That relationship lasted about two weeks. I didn't verbally break it off. I just refused to ever talk to him again. Is that what ghosting is? Hey, I think Jeannie Wiley Sadler might be the original ghoster. I don't know why that is exactly what it is. Thanks for chiming in, everyone, and please keep those comments coming. Don't be a ghost with us. Follow us at The Roadshow, 
Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Make your presence known. Leave your comments on our Facebook Live Buzz topic each morning. And you never know, we might read them right here on the show. Ghost. Still to come this morning on The Road Show, <laughs> heading on a trip. Well, it's getting even easier to meet your dietary needs while traveling. We'll take a look at the inclusive options even while on safari. Plus, Three, two, one, you've got the controls. Let's go get them. Oh, watch your way, watch your way. There we go. The movie of the summer is headed to your TV screen today. We are celebrating with a high flying interview with one of the movie stars. You're watching The Road Show. We're back after this. <laughs> you know, right Jot it down. <laughs>